bed bugs. The very idea of them creeps us out, but they're in every corner of the country and they're great hitch hitchhikers traveling from place to place through luggage and clothing and other personal belongings. So how do you stop them from entering your home? Dr. Ron Harrison is a nationally recognized entomologist with Orkin and he joins us this morning with a new list of the top 50 bed buggiest cities in America. <laughs> Dr. Ron, thank you so much for joining us this morning. Good morning. Um, I guess first I want to ask, I said we're in Charleston, South Carolina. You know, are we on this list of the bed buggiest cities in the U.S.? Well, you're not. So luckily you're not. Uh, Greenville Spartanburg is at number 47. So you've got it not too far away. Atlanta has a serious problem. We're in, in, in the top 50 as well. But it's an interesting question. Many of the cities in the southeast are not in the top. And um, definitely bed bugs seem to be a bigger problem in the northeast and and the Midwest than they are in the southeast or the south central part of the country. Okay, so you've made me feel a little bit better with that, but what do bed bugs look like? I don't know that I've ever seen one, and what are some signs that they're actually living in our space? Well, I'm glad that you've never seen one before, but <laughs> there are a lot of bed bugs in this country. And so the first thing to pay attention to, bed bugs are very easily seen. They're the size of an apple seed, but they like to hide. So you may not always be looking where they're at. So we recommend that when you go to a hotel or even in your own room each, each um, week when you wash your sheets, that you inspect it. And that means pulling back the sheets, particularly the fitted sheet, and looking along the edge of the mattress or along the tags. Also look down along the sham or on the box spring, along the headboard. Those are areas that bed bugs will like to be because they like to be about four or five feet away from the host, which is you, in your bed. All right, so go ahead and do a thorough inspection. Now, as you just said, they've been reported in hotels, but also on cruise ships, homes, even in public transit. So what can we do to help prevent picking them up and bringing them home with us? So first of all, make sure the bed bugs aren't there. Also, one other thing I want to mention is they leave behind a sign, their feces. So once they've had a blood meal, they'll defecate the previous meal, and that feces is dark, almost ink looking. And there's actually a picture of it here. We have a, a sheet that has some, some signs of it on there. So look for those black ink stains. If you find that, don't stay in that room. On the other hand, bed bugs will often migrate to our suitcases when we travel because we have our soiled clothes in there and they're attracted to that. So make sure when you get home to dry all of your clothes immediately rather than just put them in a hamster. A hamper, hamster um, and, and therefore, you'll make sure that you kill them immediately. Also, I don't store my suitcase in my bedroom. I make sure it's in the garage so that if bed bugs did get into my suitcase, they won't be able to migrate to the bed. Okay, and last question. If we do have them, you know, what should I do if I discover them in my home or in a hotel room? What do I do? So there's three things. Make sure you identify it properly. Make sure you decide, the, determine the extent of the problem and come up with a, tre a, a, a treatment solution. And that means getting hold of a professional pest control um, individual that has done bed bug work and that is licensed. Um, also, if you're looking for more information, you can go to orkin.com. Lots of good stuff there. We'll tell you what they look like. We'll show you the fecal smears, also how to contact a professional. So going to that website will be very, very helpful. All right, Dr. Ron, feeling itchy, but thank you so much for the good information. And stay with us. We have much more to come after the break right here on Low Country Live.